What if I told you that a vaccine meant to stop shingles might also protect your brain from dementia? That's right. Recent studies suggest that the shingles vaccine could reduce your risk of dementia by up to 20%. Stick around to learn all about the science, what it means for Alzheimer's prevention, and whether you should care. We all know vaccines are powerful tools for preventing infectious diseases, but could they help prevent chronic diseases like dementia? Researchers have been exploring a possible link between the shingles vaccine and a lower risk of dementia, including Alzheimer's disease. Let's break down the two major studies that are changing the game. The well study using the live Zoster vaccine. This study used a natural experiment design people born just before versus just after a vaccine eligibility cutoff. Huge differences in vaccination uptake, everything else was nearly identical. The result, a 20% relative reduction in dementia diagnosis over seven years. The bonus is women benefited more than men. Scientists think it might be due to stronger immune responses in women. In the US study, which used a recombinant vaccine, found a 17% increase in freedom from dementia after switching to the newer vaccine. These results are still early, but promising. So how does a shingles vaccine protect the brain? Scientists have proposed two theories. The first theory is that it stops herpes reactivation. The shingles virus, or VZV, is a neurotropic virus, meaning it can affect your nervous system. People who have had shingles more than once are at high risk of dementia. Stopping VZV might reduce brain inflammation and damage. Theory 2. Off-target immune boost. Live vaccines may boost the immune function in general, helping your body fight off more than just shingles. This is called off-target effect. Here's a bonus. Some studies show more protection in women than men, possibly due to a stronger immune reaction. Is this just about Alzheimer's or all types of dementia? The benefit seems to apply to most types of dementia, except frontotemporal dementia. Some studies suggest the effect is stronger for Alzheimer's, specifically up to a 21% reduction. But keep in mind, original vaccine trials didn't track dementia outcomes directly, so we still need more data. Scientists are also looking at other vaccines like the flu, tetanus, and pneumonia, and some studies do show a link to lower dementia risk. But here's the catch. People who get vaccinated generally have better health habits and access to care, which could confound these results. So we can't say for sure if the vaccines themselves are doing the heavy lifting. Let's be clear, this isn't a miracle cure. There are still important limitations. Most of the data is based on the older Zostavax vaccine not the newer Shinrix. The study followed people for about seven to eight years, so we don't know the long-term effects. Most participants are around 79 to 80 years old, so findings may not apply to younger adults. The data did not specify the ethnic breakdown of participants, and the geographic locations are in the UK and US, so we cannot apply these findings to a broader population. So should you run out and get the shingles vaccine to protect your brain? If you're 50 or older, especially if you haven't had shingles or the vaccine, it might be worth talking to your doctor, not just for shingles, but possibly for dementia prevention too. And even if it helps a little, that's a big deal because right now there's no cure for Alzheimer's. These studies offer a fresh and hopeful angle on brain health. A simple vaccine already widely available might help protect your memory later in life. But remember, prevention is never just about one thing. Combine vaccination with other healthy habits, good sleep, exercise, diet, and lifelong learning. To learn more about this, watch this video. Was this helpful? Hit the like button, share it with someone over 50, and subscribe for more science-backed health tips. Let's keep our minds sharp together.